Hi guys and welcome to Planet Crafter. It's a bit of a demo slash prologue sort of thing. So we're here to experience it and see what it's all about. And it is very similar to a few games out there that I can't really recall. But basically you go around, we've got little different resources that we can gather up. So we can gather up these resources and it's like a base building crafting kind of game where we've got to work out how we can turn this inhospitable hostile planet into something we can live on. And to do that, we need to craft various different elements, like a backpack and oxygen tank so we can actually move around. And then we've got like these different chips. So a construction microchip, this will help us access the build menu. So in order to do that, we've got to go out here and we've got to get all of the different stuff. And you've got different elements, iron, silicon, ice, uh, magnesium and cobalt off the top of my head. Maybe some titanium as well, if I remember rightly, yep. So we've got all these different elements and they're all basically little crafty things. Now, our initial inventory isn't exactly massive and we do slowly increase this over time with things like the backpack, which you then have to go in and you can put it on. And obviously, as you can see, it increases the stuff that we can do. And the bottom left of our screen, we've got three bars. We've got like a little heart thing, which is actually a gather it's like food. And then obviously the water drop, which is our hydration and water and our O2, which is our oxygen. Luckily, to literally restore our oxygen, we can just go back into a little landing capsule thing and it will restore our oxygen. We've also got in the storage crate, we've got some food, uh, we've got some oxygen capsules and we've got a water bottle so we can have some water. We're trying to find some magnesium though. So there's a lot of cobalt. You can see the cobalt, all the blue stuff. The white stuff is ice. Iron and silicon look very similar. Uh, here's some magnesium. This is titanium. Oop. This is magnesium. See how it's like got two little prongs or something? That's magnesium. And this, like here, you see this glistening kind of thing? That's iron. But sometimes, see if I can find some, sometimes it looks very similar to silicon, which does get a little bit confusing when you're trying to find it from a distance. Yeah, so you see how this is silicon? But then how like this is iron? It glistens the same. It's very much the same, quite similar. Um, I might end up dying here. And if I do die, that's not a big problem right now with it being a prologue. I just basically end up back at the capsule that I'm running to anyway, and the screen has gone black. And that is basically death. So we come back here and it's basically our spore point. We still have everything that we had before, so we've got nothing lost. I think we'll go for a construction microchip, put that in, and this accesses our build menu, which we can get by pressing Q. We've got all these different things that we can build. Now, the whole idea of this game is basically to terraform the planet. And you've got a terraform index in the top corner. So you've got to add heat, oxygen, pressure, all sorts of different things to this planet. And they're very easy to do. You go here for your machines and you see you've got a drill and it says here the drill adds pressure but it uses energy. So you need something for energy which is your wind turbine. So you can build a wind turbine and you can pretty much build these anywhere. It doesn't seem to be any requirements to hook them into anywhere so I could literally just go build another one over here. It's not a big deal at all. And I want to build a few capsules. So what do we need for these capsules? iron and they're living capsules for this kind of thing so what we can do is we can bring in a living capsule and try and put it over here somewhere and we'd like a door for it like i say there's no big deal about dying at the minute we can respawn but yeah when you got a capsule you want to put a door on it so we need a lot of iron so get a load of old iron so i'll put another one down here just so that we've got some sort of base really somewhere to hide away so that's our component this is our door Ooh. So put the door down and it just automatically goes open and closes and you're safe. Your oxygen levels will go back up to where they need to be. What the devil is that? Oh, something's exploding. That's new. Oh, there's a meteor shower. Okay. That's crazy. I wonder if they're dropping off any extra resources. I don't know how safe it is out here. Um, I'm guessing not very. But uh, as long as these don't hit us, we should be fine. That one was close. That one was real close, and I stuck in my option menu. Now, are these going to disappear, or are these going to stay? Crikey. Oh, I just hit my base. Doesn't look like it's done any damage. But it did just hit the base. We can craft this oxygen tank, which then will give us more oxygen which is good. We've got a couple of turbines now, so we do have power coming in. The next thing we want to do is drills, because drills give us 
pressure so we'll get some sort of atmospheric pressure going on and we need atmospheric pressure so that we can actually start to you know breathe the oxygen around us and have this sort of deal going on so we just build a drill and it does its own thing it's currently generating 0.2 npas uh, at the cost of 0.5 i think it was kilowatts as you'll see we've got a few things here this is a crafting station this requires energy and this will help us build stuff this is like a vegetation tube it will produce oxygen but it also consumes energy now so far the only thing that i know that goes inside those particular tubes are these weird little green like seed things that we've got one off in here this so this goes in here and over time it will grow and it will produce oxygen which is very very lovely I would like a desk, which I cannot produce because I need more iron. So we'll go grab some more iron. So I want to build a desk and we'll build a desk here. So this is more like a central location. And once this is here, when we'll try and get some computers going down. So the blueprints one, I think is probably one of the better ones to start with. Okay, so this is our blueprints in here. Basically, this is how we unlock a lot of different blueprints so that we can build more and more stuff. And each unlock, if you like, is achieved by getting different things. So we've got pressure, heat, oxygen, and terraformation. And it's certain things are going up slowly. Pressure's going up because we've got a drill. Oxygen is very slowly going up because we've got that grower. And terraformation is going up because I don't actually know what affects it, but something does. Next, I would like to get the energy screen because that's super helpful for us because it helps us keep a track of the various different things that we're building, what they're actually doing in terms of numbers, because ultimately, I built two turbines, but I can only run over it and say, okay, so this is generating 1.2. If I had, say, like seven, eight, nine of them, and I couldn't remember how many placed down, uh, I wouldn't be able to work out how much energy I'm generating. But at the same time, I can't keep a track of how much energy I'm using in various different things. For example, the drill over there and the drill here, these are using energy and they're generating pressure, but it's difficult to keep a tab on it all unless you've got a really good memory. If you've got a really good memory, fair play to you but i don't so we're going to do it using a computer screen so again i'm going to use this computer table to do it get the energy screen and put that one there so then we go in here we can see everything much better it is telling me that i've only got 0.25 kilowatt hours of energy available i can't really build too much more without building a turbine i've just had the unlock to say that we can build oxygen tank level two now if i remember i don't think i can actually build it in this crafting station in here i could be well and truly wrong but i am not so oxygen tank level two is not available to be built so what i do need to do is craft the crafter if you like a little bit of craft section and that'll open up all these extra blueprints that we're making uh, i think i'll just put this here just inside the door here so that we're able to kind of get to it real quick and easy this is our crafter so if we go in here now you can see oxygen tank level one oxygen tank level two i need silicon and magnesium but i also need oxygen tank level one now i have an oxygen tank on my back i am not going to craft another one just so i can build this i'm going to use the one that's on my back because i found out we should have crafted more than one oxygen tank can't actually uncraft them or delete them. So we'll try and get some silicon so that we can actually get this oxygen tank level 2. And it'll give me 200 oxygen levels rather than the 145 that we're currently running. And it might last a little bit longer, which means that we can go on a, a further adventure. Um, I would like to head up that way somewhere because that looks like a really strange crashed ship. There's a lot of like debris and wreckage around that would be really cool to sort of pick up and have a look-see, see what it's all about don't actually know how much of this map is available to us and what we can actually look at or not sometimes i think i can see one in the distance over here there are crates that have been dropped broken whatever so you can run over to crate have a click see what's in here we've got some lovely resources in there we'll take most of that look at food we'll have an eat of food which will free up another spot tell you what we'll do we'll leave one of the coal bolts behind we'll take the magnesium and we'll go back to the base this is one thing that i have noticed about this it is very much backwards and forwards in terms of your inventory early game is small like properly small so there is a lot of running backwards and forwards to various different storage components and this kind of thing and it does get a little bit time consuming a little bit annoying this is a game very much that the grind is real on but if you like these sort of things maybe it's your kind of game i don't think i've played anything that's similar to this although i know that there are stuff out there like satisfactory 
and these kind of things. They're probably very similar to this, so that'll be good for us. Exoskeleton. This increases our equipment size. So equipment is this side, obviously, where our little man is. It says equipment. And currently we can only have four things. But if I get the exoskeleton, I think we can have eight. So I'll just go grab some titanium, being as it's nice and close. I think that was all we needed. And we are full in the inventory. Jolly fantastic. So we'll go in here. We'll make some storage so that we've got some places to put stuff. So we'll put a storage box down here and just fill this with nonsense for now. Now storage, interestingly enough, you can label it. So you can go in here and name it. So, you know, you can see it from a distance. But yeah, until sort of, I don't know when, because I've not actually got that far, but it is very grindy in terms of running backwards and forwards and oxygen seems to be depleting really fast. So there is a lot of running around, but this place is huge, like massive to explore. And it's really strange that if I look like this, the top left corner of the screen, see how close that stuff looks. Then if I look at it, so far away. So uh, yeah, interesting one. Exoskeleton. Lovely. So we go in here, we can put the exoskeleton on. It gives us four more slots, but it takes up a slot. That makes sense. So it's a win-lose. Tells me my hydration level is low and I don't actually have any water on me. So we'll go to the crushed bit over here. We'll be able to get a bottle of water out of the chest that's in here. And we can just drink it direct. It's not in there. Ooh, that's interesting. But we can craft one, right? Yes. We can craft one, go into the inventory and drink it straight from the inventory. Good job. We carried some ice with us. And now we're full on the inventory and back we go again. Uh, it's basically a bit of a long process, but it's putting drills down. Once you put drills down, just put more drills down just to increase your numbers. Obviously, the more drills you have, the more various different things you'll earn, which will increase your numbers faster. And when you increase your numbers faster, you'll be able to unlock more stuff and you'll be able to advance quicker, sooner, faster, etc, etc. So for me personally, there's no organization with this. I'm just throwing this stuff down here and hoping for the best to see what comes up. That's the deconstruction chip, which is handy for us because that means I can deconstruct various different things. Let's have a look at uh, levels. That's all right. We've got quite a bit available now. One final thing I want to construct is this. So I need iron and silicon again. And this is our information screen. Now, information screen is a massive. Luckily for us, we have just unlocked the backpack level two as well. So we'll just grab some resources in the darkness. And then we'll go back and have a look later on. I suppose the good thing about this from a video point of view is I'm able to come in here and uh, get some light on things. Ooh, we've unlocked a window, that's handy. So backpack level two, what do we need for backpack level two? Iron, titanium, and silicon. Silicon is something that we're looking for. Yeah, so silicon is still something that we're on the search for. And it's now dark, real dark out here. I think sunrise is here now. And it's hard to know which one's the sun. There's a lot of different planets and stuff around us. And we're getting wind picking up. I don't think that actually makes any difference to the turbines though. The strange one to have as far as i'm aware it doesn't do anything to his health until these big meteors that are showering down us hit us now information screen oh, cobalt good job we've got a got box here so this is a massive information screen and when i say massive i mean it is massive and it's really tricky to place this stuff there we go so i'll place it here and it tells us pretty much everything that we can see in the blueprints uh, but it's all of our terraform index information so the pressures that we're currently at our oxygen levels and our total terraform index as we're getting absolutely shaken up by these massive boulders uh let's have a look see i need iron and i need my backpack level one so let's take some iron and we'll empty most of this stuff out yeah okay cool grab our backpack go in here yeah backpack level two craft it and then we'll put it on gives us loads more space now absolutely loads more space blimey riley we can build a window so i think i'll put a window in here just lets a little bit of light in and it would potentially show us where all the carnage is going on but we're good so far now you see that there is a heat source thing that we can make which is this this heater but you gotta get radium which i haven't discovered anywhere else other than in one of these chests that chest is empty so we can deconstruct it we'll get the resources so from deconstructing that we got an iron piece 
which is lovely so we'll get a couple of these drills around getting these drills down is making the numbers go up a little bit quicker a little bit better which is exactly what we want oxygen is getting low though so we've got to keep an eye on that now there is a sneaky sneaky little thing that we could do i want to head in a particular direction for example and that is we could go over here and be like oh okay so i, I want to head this way do i so let's build this it's kind of floating a little bit but you know we're not saying anything i need titanium and iron but i'm gonna uh, pass out or die so we're here so luckily for us that big chunk is still up there now where he is where is he oh maybe he's not Oh, yeah, he is. He's just up there, looking the distance up there. So we need to build a door for it. Every time you build a new pod to live in, you have to put a door to it if it's not connected to an existing structure. And sneakily, it means that you can actually just walk in and get your oxygen topped up. So if you're going to go on a long walk and you don't have a lot of oxygen, it's a sneaky, sneaky way to sort of say, OK, how about I just kind of build something so I can go on this walk? Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to destruct this and I'm going to move it around the other side because I'm noticing how far I can get with my current oxygen level. So I can break this down. We'll run over here. We've still got a good chunk of oxygen left. I don't want to be too crazy and go as far as I can and run out of oxygen. Halfway. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. You'll see where we get around this rock. You know what? I'm going to build right up next to it because we should be able to get further when the time comes we're gonna get better oxygen tanked so we should be able to get quite far so if i can build like a tiny little i can this might not work very well so we'll build this and then we'll get the door in and we'll get the door around this side and then we'll go in here haha <laughs> oxygen tops up nice grab a drink inventory is pretty low which is good because that means that we can go and explore whatever the heck this is And it looks like a big old... What the heck is that? It's like a... Is that like a foot? Like a robotic foot? Or whatever this platform structure was. Can't go any further into there. But this is... Substantial. Have a look around it. See where we can get to. Sometimes there's little crates and stuff in this stuff. Sometimes it's just random bits of resource just broken and hanging around. For us, um, I don't know, tricky one. We've got to be careful that we don't go too deep, because if we go too deep, it's going to get dark, so we need a torch, and we're also going to run out of oxygen if we're not careful. So drill level 2 actually increases the pressure. Drill level 1 does 0.2 pressure. Drill level 2 does 1.5 pressure, but it also gives us 0.1 heat. We'll find this one, we'll deconstruct this, because we should get... The components that it had which means we can build drill level two so this is more pressure and a little bit more heat which is good oh there's another chest over here that i didn't see it's in here titanium yay so we can build another drill take the iron with us wait what was that take one of them silicons and we'll build some solar panels we'll build them on the rock no they've got to be on the ground ground so we'll build that there jolly good we'll get this drill doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot. Deconstruct you. Build level two. I'm titanium short. Drat. Yay. Get us some titanium. Build a drill level two. Kablamo. As you see, it's a little bit tricky to find certain resources. I'm looking for titanium. And you do start having to go further and further afield, just like most things, really. Which obviously is in itself a tiny little bit scary because obviously the further away from safety that you go without food and water, the more hairy dairy it gets. But if we can go up this sort of hill, turn around and admire our landscape, you can see we've got a mess of drills and turbines all scattered around everywhere that are all doing what we need to do. So that is a little bit of a basics of the start of this game and what it's all about. And holy smokes, there seems to be some sort of rock structure in front of us, like some sort of ancient city or something. No idea what. We'll have to investigate that at a later date. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Planet Craft. I hope to see you again next time. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye, guys.